probably can't remember the day or the date. All she remembers is that she in the study hall. Alice was reeling to town on her physics assignment. And Freck, well, he was busy with his regular routine. It was just the usual sort of day. Or was it? There's the bell for an assembly. This one was for the girls only. Nothing too unusual about that. Kay found a seat, her favorite, right next the aisle. Today, I'd like to tell you about several girls I know very well. Not too long ago, these girls were wondering, just as you are, what they would do after completing high school. Let's start with Evelyn, who went on to college where she took a course in home economics. Now she's a tea room manager and thousands of people who eat out are her daily customers. You might see her talking to the hostess and never guess she's really the boss. Behind the scene, she's the one who makes the final check and adds that extra touch. Kay thought she would like that sort of work. She could see herself at the center of a world made up of large ovens and mixers manned by professional cooks. Gee, what would Mom think of a grocery list like this? For anyone with training in institution management, though, it's just like planning the family dinner. And this is Joanne. In high school, she always helped decorate for the parties. She liked it. She still decorates. Gets good pay now for doing it. An applied art major in home economics helped her develop this ability. Kay couldn't resist daydreaming herself into this kind of job. Folks would look to her to help them make a wise choice. She would be asked to go out on appointments, to help people plan lovelier homes. The speaker told of other girls she knew, real girls in real jobs, good jobs, interesting jobs, well paid too. And everyone had taken her training in home economics. Some had specialized in foods and nutrition, others in education, in textiles and clothing, household equipment, child development, applied art, institution management, journalism. Home economics is all of this and more too. For instance, Carol, who is now Mrs. Bill Johnson, took a general home economics course not one which would lead to professional employment, but one which fitted her for that very important career of being Mrs. Johnson. Kay's home would be like this. There were many times she was glad that her college training had prepared her so well for home life. Many times, she didn't even realize that she was using some of the knowledge she had gained, and that her knowledge meant so much to her family, as well as to herself. It wasn't hard for Alice to return to reality, but as for Kay, well, making a dream come true often depends on a very little thing. Day after day, she had passed by that little book. But now it suddenly held the key to a wonderful future. Of course, there were things she would have to do. Apply for admission, study the courses, and... Oh, yes. What would Mom and Dad say? There was only one way to find out. Ask them. This was important. She realized that now, even before they said anything. 
You could tell that mom and dad knew that it was important too. College for Kay would mean sacrifices for mom and dad. Would it be worth the sacrifice? So this was the important day in Kay's life, and it was late at night when she finally recopied the letter for the last time. She got a real thrill out of dropping that letter in the box. Waiting for a reply was harder. Everybody watched the mail, and then it came. You'd have thought Kay was leaving for college the next day. So this is college. Her college. Later it will have a homey look. Now it was a bit bewildering. Where would her room be? Who would be her friends? Wonder where the tennis courts are. Wonder how she met him. Wonder if she'd ever know her way around here. Wonder what her room would be like. At first it looks bare and not very friendly. But with new curtains and bedspread, it doesn't take long to give it a homey feeling and a bit of college atmosphere as well. Before you know it, it's time for the folks to leave. In all her dreams about college, Kay had never included the moment when Dad and Mom said goodbye, when she would be on her own. It helped to have Jean arrive just when she did. They chatted like old friends. What about? Well, the usual things. And while they were talking... Four girls, Kay and Jean, Helen and Louise. For the next four years, they will see a lot of each other. <laughs> 